hi my lovely girls thank you for coming back to watch my channel again i'm so humbled uh, if you are new to this channel if you most welcome this is the right place to be into the like mom here deborah nyanchaka is my name i created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic no situation is permanent once you choose to work with god everything is possible so feel most welcome and let's share this journey of hope together uh so feel most welcome in case you've not subscribed consider to subscribe uh today i want us to share something about uh, the topic of today is how last killed the two innocent people how last killed the two innocent people that is what we are going to share today but before that well, let's pray Father, in the name of jesus thank you for the gift of life as yes, we are going to do our sharing we ask you to be to bless us help us so that we can have a great impact on our lives in jesus name we pray and believe amen how last killed the two innocent people is our topic and the key verse is uh, second samuel chapter 11 verse 15 i read from my good news my good news records i started from uh, 14 the next morning david wrote a letter to Joab and sent it by Uriah. He wrote, he wrote, put Uriah in the front line where the fighting is heaviest, the retreat, and let him be killed. This is our sharing today. So how last killed two innocent people is our sharing. But uh, before I go far, I have to explain a little bit about this the, the meaning of this last uh this a uh, very big difference between love and lust lust is that force that comes from inside it's a strong force that pushes somebody from inside in case you've admired something that doesn't belong to you that force uh come pushes you that you have to try in any way so that you can get that thing and it doesn't belong to you so the moment you get that thing uh, that is when your heart will be at peace for a, it's just for a short time you really admire something it doesn't belong to you yes but now you want to own it you want to possess it maybe for a short while yeah that is what I mean by this last so this is the last we are going to see how did it kill two people who and who was killed out of this last is this prominent king by the name david he had his men the might the, the armies who, who used to help him uh, in fights maybe fight against the enemies so uh, one day david was asleep it was daytime so david woke up uh, afternoon yeah it was it was not night uh, he went up on the roof maybe i guess he had a story building because it was an issue he was a king so he was rich so he went up to the roof uh rooftop uh, there's some uh yeah uh, the rooftop now where he could see down what is going around the palace so as he was on that at the top of uh, on the top of the roof down he saw a very very beautiful lady uh by the name pat sheba this pat sheba uh, uh she happened to be the wife of itite army uh by the name oria so uh, oria was the one of the mighty men of king david so when david saw this beautiful lady he ordered his men to bring her so but Sheba was proud to David and David had intercourse with her because he had lust. So he, he took this lady, had, uh, had sex with her and then she went back. So after some time this lady communicated to King David and told him I am pregnant. But because uh, this is now a clear indication that this was just lust and not love, uh, David did not did not accept this uh, message very well. He didn't receive it very well. So he 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 decided 
he wanted to get a uh, Uriah to get a chance so that he can sleep with uh, his wife Uriah now the husband so that uh, they can hide hide that secret maybe Uriah will be told you are the one you are the father so it happened that uh, uh, between that period Uriah came back from the war and uh, he went to King David's house so King David allowed him to go to sleep he was he told Uriah you can go and sleep now in your house but uh, <laughs> Uriah didn't go to sleep in his house he just slept at the gate of King David with the guard so when David went there in the morning and found King uh, Uriah at the gate with the guardsman he was angry and asked him, why didn't you go to sleep in your house but uh, Uriah told her now the other men are at the war so I can't go and sleep and then the following day then uh, Uriah uh, David told Uriah you can now go and sleep in your house but <laughs> Uriah didn't go so he slept in one of the rooms in King David's house so this uh, made uh, King David hungry. He sensed the danger that what if this secret comes out and he was the king. So he, he plotted, he, he came up with a plot of killing this warrior so that uh, if, even this secret will not come to light, to the limelight because there was a king here. Yeah? So he wrote a letter to Joab. Joab now was the command of the armies. He was the, the one overall. So he wrote a letter to Joab and told Joab uh, to put Uriah at the front line in the war where the war is heaviest so that he can be killed. You see? So, and to make the matters worse that Uriah was the one who carried that letter that was going to kill him he was the one who delivered that letter to Joab. So when Joab received the letter, he did what he was told. In this verse, we have said that he he put Uriah on the front at the front line, and finally he was killed. Then he sent the messenger to King David uh, to confirm the sad news that now nah, Uriah is dead already. <laughs> then King uh, David took that chance and married but she now she took he, her as his wife then uh, she gave birth to her baby yes but uh, that baby didn't survive god was very angry with king david and he made that kid to die two people now have already died just because of the last Uriah died the baby died too. This is the consequence of this last. This last was uh, this spirit that uh, entered King David was uh, very shocking because now, because of this last, now two people have, have already died. What do we learn from this story? because we we've seen that maybe those people in lead uh, in leadership we have our leaders yes if they know that you might uh you might having a hint about the maybe the wrong things they have done they might find any way to get rid of you so that you can die with the secrets so that is why mostly you find uh people who have a uh, who know some secrets about the top leaders uh, they don't survive this thing started long time ago you see it's already in the bible david made sure that uh, uriah has died so that in case uh, the secret was to come out that king david slept with his wife nobody could know because uh, now uriah was no more yeah we have many davids in this world we have many people who possess the spirit of david it means that if you are poor you are going to die poor if the, you are rich you are going to to be rich because see david didn't uh, uh, david had many wives 
not forgetting the concubines but this Hittite man Uriah had only one wife but David took advantage of this lady and and killed the husband imagine the only one wife he had David the rich man just took 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 the wife and killed the husband this is the same world we are living now you can even have an idea you say i want to start something if you don't have money and the rich person is near you king david is next to you will see your idea and go and implement it yeah let's say maybe you've started that uh, maybe it's a business yeah david will be admiring your business and see that it's speaking very well you will see David coming closer to you and telling you, you see, my dad, you see, uh, this business is speaking very well and it seems that you can't make the, the demand. What I can do, I'm going to add you some money or I will sponsor you. We share the profits. David has already admired your project. You will, yeah, you will accept to include him or her, but when now it becomes bigger, he will find a way of getting rid of you so that he or she can own everything. You will be, you will get uh, rid of you out of your project. King David, all over. King David, they are all over. They will just admire what doesn't belong to them, and they make. They will make sure that they have owned them. King David can be your boss. King David can employ you as a husband and a wife. If your wife is more beautiful, uh, you will find a way of even accusing you falsely and take you to jail so that he can get a chance to sleep with your wife. King David. King David are everywhere. King David can be your principal. You are a, a female staff teacher, yes? But your principal is there always admiring you and wanting to sleep with you and he knows very well that you are married. But the spirit of lust that, that also possessed King David now has possessed the principal and is trying how he can to get you. We need to pray for this spirit. This spirit of lust is bad. Your co-wife can be David. Your co-wife can be King David. You might be married yeah, by one man maybe you have only one child and maybe your own wife has many children but she will be admiring your kid every time she will be admiring your kid and uh, she will take advantage of your kid even brainwashing your kid and your kid will turn against you <coughs> your only child she will forget her children and brainwash your own child and your own child will turn against you simply because of lust she she wants to have your child which is an impossibility yeah but she will try her best to ensure that she has brainwashed your child and your child will turn against you that is in david so this last is this force is very strong we need to pray for it my viewers we need to go on our knees and pray god that help us so that this last will not attack us because once that spirit starts pushing you from inward you will have to get what you want so that your heart will be at peace and you are not going to get it very easily Maybe you'll be forced to kill the same way David did. So let's pray for the Holy Spirit to intervene so that we can overcome this force of lust. May God bless you so much. Uh, thank you for watching. You can subscribe, you can comment, you can like, thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.